Here's another area that I introduce to the dog to make right choices. There's either the positive consequences or the absence of a negative consequence, or there's a consequence that you just as soon not have to deal with, is the doorway. Uh, our friend Bella here, the year old lab, is pretty pushy when it comes to gates and doors. Let's see what she does here. So I'm gonna open and close, open and close. I'm not gonna say anything. She's gonna work for me. My presence should start becoming something very significant to her. An open door does not mean you get to run through. These are very, look at this, she's gonna start scratching. Now I am going, no. That's the first time I introduced her to the scold with a correction. And then I might start stepping up in there to see what happens. She's gonna get pushy again. And I might even start introducing the back. Go on, get back, 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 back. Nope, 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 back. Good girl, good. What you're doing is making me happy. Not being pushy. Thinking about the situation and your responsibility in it. Well, that's a good first start. Not trick training, folks. It's relational training. How we hang out together. It's the, the way we live in our lifestyle together. So um, establishing authority from the dog's point of view. You becoming something to the dog, being before doing.